everyone, it's Dee here from CoinKite, and today we're going to be showing off our new tap signer integration with Nunchuck. First, you're going to want to open up your Nunchuck app and click the icon in the top right corner. Allow the app to scan your tap signer to begin setup. Now it's time to set your pin. Click yes and choose your chain code. We recommend automatic. Take a look at the back of your card. There should be a six digit pin that you can enter now. Also make a copy of the backup key on the back of the card for future recovery purposes. Now enter the new pin you'd like to set and enter it once more to confirm. Click continue, click got it, and now scan the tap signer to activate your new pin. This may take a few seconds, so make sure to hold your tap signer up to your phone until completion. Done! You successfully imported your tap signer key. Make sure to download the recovery file on the previous page in case you lose your tap signer and need to back up your key. Click continue and make a name for your key. In this scenario, I made mine tap signer 5. Now hit continue, and there you go. Your tap signer is named. Now that we have our key, let's create a wallet. Click create wallet and name your wallet. Click continue and choose the key you'd like to assign to your wallet. Here I click tap signer five and choose one for the amount of keys required to sign. You can set up your wallet configuration in multiple ways. Here we're doing a single sig, but you can also set up multi-sig as well. Review your wallet information and click Create Wallet when you're ready. You may want to save the BSMS file as well for future wallet recovery. Click Done, and there you go. You've created a wallet that requires your tap signer to send any outgoing transaction. Now let's send some funds to our wallet. In your new wallet, click Receive, and a QR code should show up. You can scan that directly or copy the address to send funds. Now that we've received funds, let's try and send some funds. Click the send button and input the amount of funds you'd like to send. Click continue and enter or scan the address you'd like to send the funds to. Once you're done, click continue, set your fee rate. You can do this manually if you'd like as well and click continue. Verify the information and click Confirm and Create Transaction. Now it's time to sign with your tap signer. Click Sign, enter your PIN, and scan your card. And finally, click Broadcast. And there you go, you successfully sent a transaction. So say you lost your key, what do you do? Well, let me show you. First, click the plus button beside the keys subcategory. Add NFC key and click recover from backup. Click continue and select the key backup file from earlier. Now, manually input the backup code from the back of the tap signer that you wrote down. Once entered, click continue and name your recovery key. Here, I named mine tap signer five recovery. Click continue, and there you go. You've successfully recovered your signing key. Keep in mind that this key is now a software key and requires no tap signer to sign, essentially making it a hot wallet. So send those funds to a new wallet with a new key to stay secure. Thanks for watching our short tutorial video on how to use our tap signer with Nunchuck. For more information on our tap signer or to place a reservation, make sure to go to www.coinkite.com.